Hey everybody, John C. Denise Richards and the lovely Lulu. Lulu. Lulu's with us today. And let me say something. She is adorable today. I'm going to zoom in on her. Tell us what she's wearing today. Well, today Lulu wanted to wear her tomboy um, uh, bandana. Okay. And when she put it on, I thought, well, you don't really look like a girl anymore. So we decided on the bows. Love it. I love the bows. And what does Lulu think of the bows? Well, I think she's still thinking about it. She doesn't like to say things mean, but I think she thinks she doesn't like them. Yeah. Lulu? Look at her. Wink if you like them. Oh, I saw a wink. Oh, I did. <laughs> hey, uh, today is the 18th. If you're watching this on Thursday when we put these out, by the way, we try to put one of these out every Thursday around 10 a.m. So like and subscribe. I forgot to mention that on the last one. Like and subscribe That's to our right. videos. Denise and I would greatly appreciate it. We're over the 350 person subscriber mark. So thank you for that. To all of you who have subscribed, love to hit the 400. That's our next mark. So thank you for watching and subscribing to these videos. Today is National Museum Day. Can you believe that? I cannot believe that. After this, we are packing up and we are going to the local museum. We are? Yes. All National. things home field trip. Right on. Let's go. We'll see you there. <laughs> I don't even know if we have a museum around here. I'm sure we do. We have a Holocaust Museum. We have a train museum. Yes. There's what other ones? lots of... We have a science me museum yeah. in Fort Myers. That's right. Just type in. Yeah. nearest museum to me. Yeah, go to your maps. But you know what else it is today? What? No dirty dishes day. Yes. And I left the house with dirty dishes in the uh -oh. sink. So before we go to the museum, Denise has got to run home and, and do her dishes. Do my dishes. That's right. All we need to, all I need to do is call home and have my daughter <laughs> do her job. That's just another conversation. What did we talk about last week? So last week we talked about the uh, tight supply and how that is infect, effect, infecting. It's like a disease, but it's affecting, uh, I think yeah. is how you would say that. It's affecting the home sales in regards to new construction. So uh, yeah. watch that video. It's a really good one. More homes in new construction are selling than almost ever before. Ever before, one in three? One in three, but don't give all the numbers. Oh, they need to go right. watch the last video to see all the details on new home construction. But also not just the numbers, but how Denise and I can really assist you when purchasing new construction, because some people just think they just walk into the sales center and deal directly with the builder. Mm -hmm. Probably not the best of ideas. Call, text, or email Denise and I. We yeah. can kind of give you the info on that, or just watch the last yeah. video. I mean, that's seriously a buyer beware situation. Why would you want to walk into that on purpose. Unrepresented. Okay, so let's do this. Today's topic, I'm pretty excited about it because it's probably one of my favorite topics that we have covered for a long time, and that is when can recent buyers refinance? Now, we haven't talked much about refinancing on this show. Is First of all, is that something you can help a buyer with? Can you help a buyer who already owns a home, whether they purchased with you or not and used you for their initial mortgage, can you help them? Yes or no? Yes, but okay. they have to be nice people. Ooh. Besides that. Ooh. Do you have a link for that to where you can actually, they do like a personality test to see if they're nice? Well, we yeah. We need that. It's actually mortgageprofessional.net. Okay. Apply here. You'll see the button. Okay. Yeah. And on there, no. the first question is, <laughs> do you love others? That's okay. Right. If right. not, if you hit no to that. Then we're done. The screen freezes and you but have to But it is a serious website. subject because a lot of people are buying homes right now because they're done waiting to see what the market's going to do. Yeah. They see home prices are going up again. Right. And why would they rate, wait to buy a home when they can literally date the rate and marry the home. Love that word. So right? in this topic, that's actually what it gets into. New homeowners who married the house but dated the rate. And yeah. I think that's such a good visual because you date for a certain period of time and then you marry. Well, I guess there's some people out there who date forever, but that's another topic. That's Dr. Phil's show. Anyways, uh, don't if you're dating the rate, it may be a good time now for you to marry a new rate. Now, what do we mean by that? What do we mean by dating a rate? And then what do we mean by marrying the rate? What's the difference there? Okay. So yes. when people talk about refinancing their mortgage, that's making a new mortgage with new terms, right? But people also know typically there are a lot of costs associated with doing a refinance, just like there is when you purchase with a mortgage. The big difference is that we'll be positioned to do that refinance for free at no cost. Ooh. Now, the big question is, when are we going to do that? Right? Right. So what we have in place is a rate finder. So we have a way of logging you into my system. 
Okay. Setting the rate that we're looking for. Okay. And the minute the market hits it, this comes right from my rate locking pricing system. It notifies me immediately and locks in your rate. That's nice. And not only will we do that once when rates go down to say five and a half, we're going to do it again at five. We're going to do it again at four and a half. Keep knocking it down. I think that's probably where we're going to rest is around four and a half next year. So we're going to start seeing these rates come down here in the next six months. So Get with me, get in in my system and logged in so that we can be notified the minute that rate is where it needs to be to bring you benefit. I love that. Yeah. So really, and if you look at what you're currently paying, because some people have interest rates in the sevens. Mm -hmm. If they purchased maybe earlier in the year or towards the tail end of last year, Mm -hmm. they may have got a seven and a quarter, seven and a half interest rate. So now if rates are six and a half or below a 1% drop, that can be a big difference in your monthly payments. Absolutely. Yeah, it can make a huge difference. Even if it's a half a percent, it can Even make half a huge a percent. difference. Yeah, especially when you're not factoring in closing costs. Ooh. That's when sometimes refinances can't make any sense is because you're going to be increasing your loan size. Right. But if you refinance at no cost, your loan size will not change and you will not need any funds to close. Love That's it. a true no cost refinance. That is true. It's not a false. It's true. That's and right. we like the truth. That's right. No fake news here, buddy. No fake news here. That's another <laughs> channel. Actually, it's a lot of news channels nowadays. Pretty uh, much. Yeah. Especially since Fox News got rid of Tucker Carlson. What's up with that? Did you I see that? Know, That's another topic. And all topic. of a sudden, I'm seeing a lot more Megyn Kelly. I don't did you notice that too? I did notice that, but I've also I noticed like I don't watch the news as much anymore. I don't either. So I think it's all kind of getting. I fake-ish. just want to know what's going on in my sector of that consumer price index, and housing does represent forty-two percent of that number. Tell us, preach it, Denise. That's right. So when should you refinance? Uh, first of all, check with Denise on that. But hopefully, this kind of gives you an idea. If you're if the rates have dropped half a percent or more, it sounds like, they really should go to your rate finder, the website, put that in. Denise can guide you through that if you need help, if you get stuck there. And that way, when rates hit that number, boom, it can lock it in. That's right. Denise, can, that woke you up, didn't it, Lulu, when yeah. I did this? Woo! Lulu, She's excited. Come. Rates are her. coming down. Woo. Rates are coming down. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so uh, Denise would love to help you out with that and guide you in that direction. Uh, market news real quick. Mm. Last, since this has been a lot about uh, refinancing last episode, we talked a little bit about market news with interest rates as well too. Today, I just want to hit real briefly on inventory, and inventory has stayed pretty steady for the most part for us here in Southwest Florida. Now, this time of year, less homes go on the market because what fifty percent of the people have headed back up north after Easter, right? So we typically see a slowdown, anyways, in the inventory market and homes coming on because people just aren't here to sell them. Same on the flip side of that, they're not here to sell them, they're not here to buy them. So it's usually a wash, but the whole market kind of slows here in Southwest Florida. Particularly Southwest Florida. But if you go up to Hillsboro, Pinellas, that's going to be a different number because you're going to have more households with kids in school. And when they're in school, that's a good time for them to move. That's a great point. So Mm -hmm. when spring market hits, typically the real estate market picks up for most of the country. For sure. Because the snow has thawed. Uh, People are, yeah, they can make the move because it's the summer and the kids aren't in school anymore. Great point. So it's probably not like how it is for you and your neck of the woods if you're north of Tampa area or if you're in another state. For us here in Southwest Florida, it does slow down quite a bit, which I've told people as well too. Now is really the time when you're not competing against other buyers as much Mm -hmm. because half the buyers are gone. That's right. And even as a seller, I, I would think it would be a great time to list your property. Because we don't have as many. We don't have as many. Inventory has dropped, and so we just don't have as many on the market. So it's a great time to get your home on the market if you're thinking of selling a home. Uh, Let's do this before we wrap up today's session. This has been one of my favorite videos so far. There is a gal that I know who helps with homes in a way that pretty much everybody, unless you don't have a mortgage on your home, you need her help with a home. And who is that? Her name is Dawn Hines, and she is with Chapman Insurance. She is in downtown Punta Gorda. She serves all of Florida. She is absolutely amazing. I have had so many clients come to me with insurance premiums that they can no longer afford, would put them in foreclosure. I've also had clients come to me that purchasing a property. The insurance made it too much for them to be able to afford to buy the property. Don has come in in the pinch for me and helped me out so many times with these clients. She prides herself on helping these folks too that have completely lost their insurance through, what is it, universal? Universal Property Casualty, UPC, they have no insurance. 
It's a nightmare. She literally should be wearing a big S on her chest I was and just a red that. cape because she's a superhero. I was just thinking that. she what, The way you were saying that, she swoops in and saves the day. She does. And if you're thinking about refinancing, it's a great time to shop your insurance. Great. Good point as well, too. So if you need help with your insurance, if you're thinking of buying a home or even a car, uh, I know she insurance, she covers that as well, too. They do more than just homes. But if you need help or guidance on that, or if you already own a home here in Florida and you just want to see if your rate is good, call Dawn. She can take a look at that. She can compare with what they offer. And you may save thousands of dollars on home insurance just with a quick phone call. Mm -hmm. And then you need to split that with Denise and I. Whatever you <laughs> save, you send us a check. And we'll... I go to jail for that, but John doesn't. How does that work? It's fine for me. My <laughs> broker doesn't care. But the financial industry, they have more regulations than I do. Uh, but yeah, you know what? This was a lot of fun today. And I think I said it at the beginning, but I want to say it one more time. Like and subscribe to our video. We're going to hit the 400 mark here pretty soon. We would greatly appreciate that. Anything else you want to say about all this fun stuff we just went over today? I don't know. I so think fun. my best, my favorite episode, this one right here, my really? favorite episode. Really? It is. Good. It's exciting news. I mean, we've been hearing doom, gloom, doom, gloom. It is so nice and refreshing Beautiful. to hear that inflation numbers are improving. Love Mortgage it. rates are going down. Love it. Elections coming up pretty soon. Yay! <laughs> Get out and vote when that happens. Hey, Please. John C. Denise Richards, thanks for watching another episode of All Things Home. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.